everyone, welcome back to my channel. Our most essential learning competency for today is evaluating the inverse of trigonometric functions. Before we give these examples, I want you to bear this in mind, FSS. FSS means fundamental solution set. So we will be using this as our solution set from 0 to 2 pi or of course 0 degrees to 360 degrees. Example 1. Arc sine of 1, of course we are looking for the value of this and that is an angle. This is arc sine 1. We look for the value of theta in which sine, the sine function is equal to 1. So this one is 90 degrees. So I will be expressing this in degrees. This one is equivalent to 90 degrees. So therefore, our FSS is 90 degrees. Example number 2. We have arc sine negative square root of 3 over 2. So we have arc sine negative square root of 3 over 2. This one is equivalent to theta, of course. So, theta is, we look for the value of sine negative square root of 3 over 2. We look for the value of theta in the unit circle in which the sine function is negative square root of 3 over 2. So, I will be illustrating it. Negative square root of 3 over 2. Here, it can be in quadrant 3 or in quadrant since we have negative square root of 3, so that is the longer side, this one. This one. So this one is 240 degrees, and this one is 300 degrees. So this one is square root of 3 over 2, negative, and negative square root of 3 over 2. This one is 1 half, this one is 1 half. Negative 1 half, positive 1 half. So we have negative square root of 3 over 2. Therefore, our FSS fundamental solution set will be 240 degrees and 300 degrees. Example number 3, arc cosine 0. This one is theta. So we have to look for the value of the angle in which the cosine function is equal to 0. So we have here, this is 0. This one is 180. So, cosine here is 1. Cosine here is negative 1. Cosine here is 0. So, this is 90 degrees and 270 degrees. Cosine here is, of course, 0. So, the value of theta here, we have 90 degrees and 270 degrees. So, the FSS, therefore, is... 90, 270 degrees. Example 4, we have our cosine 1 half. This one is theta. So, we will be locating this, of course, in what quadrant? It can be in quadrant 1 or in quadrant 4 because cosine there is positive. So, this is our cosine 1 half. We have to look for the value of the angle in which the cosine function is positive 1 half. So, this one is, of course, square root of 3 over 2. But this is not the cosine. This one is the cosine 1 half. So, here. So, using the unit circle, of course, this one is 60 degrees and this one is 300 degrees. So, therefore, we have 60 degrees and 300 degrees. Or, the FSS is 60 degrees. 300 degrees. Example number 5. We have our tangent of square root of 3. We have to look for the value of the angle in which a tangent is positive square root of 3. So if we will draw it or locate it, tangent is positive in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 4. Square root of 3 meaning to say... It can be here, this one is the square root of 3 over 2, and this one is 1 half. This one is sine, this one is cosine. So it's here too.
Okay. So this one is square root of 3 over 2, negative and negative 1 half. So therefore, tangent square root of 3, our tangent square root of 3 is, this one is 60 degrees. And this one is 240 degrees. So theta, or FSS rather, FSS is 60, 240. Number 6, our tangent, tangent negative pi over 6. So let's look for the value of negative pi over 6. So we have... This one is pi over 6, negative pi over 6. So this one is 1 half negative, and this one is square root of 3 over 2. So if we'll get the value of this, this one is tangent negative pi over 6 is equivalent to square root of 3 over 2 over negative 1 half. So this one is equivalent to negative square root of 3. So that is our tangent negative square root of 3 is obviously of course equal to negative pi over 6. This one is negative pi over 6. Okay, but wait. What about here? This one is also what? This one is also negative in here, but this one is defined. It's negative pi over 6. So our FSS is negative pi over 6 only. Why? Though we have also an angle here that is equivalent to negative tangent negative square root of 3. But here it is already defined. The angle is already defined. Therefore, we will be getting only negative pi over.